हेलो एवरीवन वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू श्री चैतन्या एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस माय नेम इज किरण चौधरी एंड आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस द लेटेस्ट अपडेट ऑन नीट 2025 सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स विद द नीट 2024 पेपर लीक एंड व्हेन द मैटर वाज टेकन टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज डायरेक्टेड द एग्जामिनेशन कंडक्टिंग बॉडी एज़ वेल एज टू द एनटीए टू कम अप विद सम इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सिग्निफिकेंट रिफॉर्म टू स्ट्रेंथन नॉट ओनली जस्ट माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द सिक्योरिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द नीट एग्जाम बट आल्सो टू स्ट्रेंथन द एग्जामिनेशन कंडक्टिंग बॉडी सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दोस रिफॉर्म्स रिमेंबर अ कमेटी आफ्टर द मैटर वाज टेकन टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिगार्डिंग नीट 2024 पेपर लीक द कमेटी वाज फॉर्म एंड दिस कमेटी वाज हेडेड बाय द फॉर्मर इजरो चीफ The committee was headed by the former ISRO chief K Radha Krishnan. After doing months of brainstorming, they have come up with some important, significant reforms that have been published now. They are in public, so let's discuss about those reforms. So these are the key proposals from the expert committee on NEET 2025 UG paper. the first one is online testing and hybrid models next one is multi stage exam for medical aspirants streamlining cuet subjects increasing nta staffing strengthening data security reducing paper leak risks very very important as we know and limiting the exam attempts now i'm going to discuss each one each one of the proposed reforms in detail let's start with the online testing and hybrid models so listen this very very carefully i know this is something which most of you are waiting for many of the students are in dilemma whether they are going to write exam in online mode or offline mode the one who have been preparing in offline mode they must be a little worried about do they have to start preparing online do they have to start writing the neat um, mock test in online mode so this is something where you need to now listen very very carefully so yes the reform from the committee has been given and what the committee has suggested is to conduct the exam in online mode so wherever possible wherever possible see across the entire country there are several and hundreds and thousands of centers where the neat exam is conducted every year so committee said wherever it is possible in whichever particular state and city and center it is possible to manage let's conduct the exam in the online mode wherever the facility can be provided now let's say the exam is getting conducted in such a center in a very uh, in such a city where the online testing complete online testing is not possible so in that case they have proposed a hybrid model so let me help you in understanding what is this online model and the hybrid model when we talk about complete online model that means the exam paper will be given digitally just before the exam okay just like for example the exam is going to conduct going to get conducted let's say on 2 pm on 4th may let's say like that so before 2 pm maybe 1 pm or a little earlier than that but not like months or let's say weeks before that it's not going to happen like that okay so this is also going to reduce the risk of paper leaks very very important so wherever possible the exam is going to be get conducted in pure offline mode where the exam paper will be sent digitally just before the exam and even your responses will be recorded digitally so on the pc on the computer laptop whatever facility will be there on the center the paper will be sent digitally and your responses will be recorded digitally yes with the help of keyboard you will be entering your responses most likely okay so everything digital wherever it is possible now what is this hybrid model hybrid model let's say the exam 
is getting conducted on a center in a particular city where everything is not possible. Everything means sending the paper along with taking the responses digitally is not possible because of not that great management over there. So what the committee has proposed, let us send the exam paper digitally over those centers. Okay, so when we are going to send, when this committee is going to send, my dear students or the examination conducting body is going to send the paper digitally, it will be sent just before the exam. So again, it is going to reduce the risk related to neat paper leak, very, very important because this is somewhere which hurts the students most, the paper leaks, okay. So paper will be sent digitally on these hybrid uh, centers as well. And the responses will be recorded on OMR. So, for example, there can be some other um, insight on this particular thing like hybrid mode, how they're going to take it. But what I am understanding over here is, so let me share that. Maybe, for example, the examination paper will be sent online just before the exam. And maybe that paper will be displayed on you on the computer or your uh, PC screen so you can see you can scroll the questions you can go from section a to section b or whatever will be in every subject and right? subject uh, physics chemistry botany zoology so you will be able to screen using a mouse but when it comes to give your responses maybe you will have you will be given an omr sheet where you will be recording your responses okay so this is a hybrid model where they have proposed for those centers where complete online testing is not possible. I hope you guys are able to understand. I hope you guys are able to understand what is online testing as well as how it is compared with the hybrid model. Next. Next is students multi-stage exam for medical aspirants. So just like you see, we are very much familiar when it comes to JE exam, they conduct the exam twice a year. So similarly, the committee headed by the former ISRO chief K. Radha Krishnan has suggested, let's go for the NEET exam also in two stages or maybe multiple than that. So that clarity is not yet here, but this committee has suggested let's take it in the multiple stages so that the students will get more time to revise sometime what happens is my dear students uh, you have prepared for the entire year sometimes students who are uh, giving let's say some students starts from grade 11 so students are preparing for year one from one year from two years and sometimes because of some some issue the student is unable to perform on the exam day so the entire one year or two years of hard works go in vain so in order to help the students the committee has suggested let's take the exam in multi stages so this is going to give the additional option this is going to give my dear students an additional opportunity for those students who are very hard working who worked very hard but because of some reason they were not able to perform on the exam day in the first stage let's say so they will be getting in another opportunity the same year without wasting the entire year they will be able to give the exam again in the next stage very very important so this is again a reform suggested by the committee to handle the large number of NEET UG candidates, the committee suggests a two-stage exam similar to JE, which would be in managing applicants better and assessing them more. Very, very important. So this is what the committee has suggested. Let's see uh, how many reforms out of them and in what form the NTA or the education ministry is going to accept. So multi-stage, definitely two stages, something they have suggested. Let's see what NTA and education ministry is going to take an action on that. Next. Next is increasing the NTA staffing this is also important. This may not be linked with you directly with respect to your exam, but it is very important with respect to the security. See, NTA has to have a large manpower, okay? Without the large manpower, they cannot control, my dear students, exam to be conducted in different, different centers across the country. So they need to have many people in their team. Now what NTA has been doing till now, they hire people on temporary basis. 
right so temporary basis where they are going to hire people from every city or from every state so they will be working with nta for a very limited period of time so when they are recruiting those people there is no thorough let's say uh, uh, testing of them right so because of this what happens these people who are temporarily recruited there is some chances that they might be involved in paper leaks or something like that as you must be familiar with the news that came with respect to NEET 2024 exam paper so there were some people involved in the from they were from the NTA but this is what is there in the news so they were from the NTA but temporary start somewhere they were involved in NEET 2024 paper leaks so what the committee has suggested that let's have some permanent staff so that the NTA can keep a better watch on them so to come the committee recommends that the NTA hire more full-time staff instead of mainly using the temporary worker this would help in better organizing and managing the exam center and also will help to reduce the neat paper leaks okay in future next next is my dear students strengthening data security very very important data security should be there and the committee has also suggested the NTA and education ministry to improve data security in order to this and the NTA should control what the committee is saying NTA should control more exam center itself to reduce the dependency on outside centers because wherever the involvement of the NTA won't be direct there will be increase in the chances of paper getting leaked or some information going outside where it was not supposed to next reducing the paper leak risk this is the point as i said which hurts the students most so what the committee has said let me introduce you lower the risk of paper leaks which is very very important the committee recommends digitally sending question paper so in order to reduce the paper leak leaks the committee strongly suggest recommends to send digitally the question paper and releasing them please notice releasing them closer to the exam time as much as closer to the exam time the chances of getting it leaked will be very 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 less this would improve the security especially after recent issues with neat ug paper leaks next is limiting the exam attempts so the committee proposes setting a cap on the number of neat ug attempts per candidate moving away from the current unlimited attempts yes this is also something which everyone need to focus here so the committee is recommending the education ministry and nta to reduce the number of attempts otherwise what used to happen is sometimes students are preparing for the same exam from last four years five years six years and and in odd scenarios sometimes even students are preparing from last seven to eight years now what happens is the students who is very fresher recently in grade 12 and who are going to write neat exam for the first time it is somewhat unfair to compare a student who is in grade 12 with a student who is preparing and giving the same exam after preparation of let's say eight to nine years or maybe five to six years so in order to increase the fairness in the exam in order to allow the students to deviate their focus my dear students on some other options who have been giving the exam repeatedly from so many years my dear students this is again a good reform the committee proposes setting a cap on the number of neat ug attempts per candidate important so please start preparing for your exam very very seriously because students generally tend to have this uh, mentality that okay there is no limit how many times we can prepare it so students are somewhere in their initial attempts not very very serious in this way they tend to waste their important years so in this way my dear students this change would encourage the candidates to prepare thoroughly and make the exam process fairer again important reform next is 
is ya so this is the question which is most searched i guess on the internet these days by the neat candidates that is the neat exam mode changed for 2025 first of all please notice what all updates i have shared in this session they all are the suggested reforms by the committee which was formed my dear students after the supreme court verdict came on neat 2024 paper leaks in order to strengthen the examination conducting body in order to reduce such mishaps in future so this committee which was headed by isro chief former isro chief i would like to correct myself k radha krishnan and these are the reforms after months of brainstorming they have come up so these are the reforms they have given to the education ministry to the nt now they will work on it they will think on it and then what all decision the education ministry and the nta makes will be released soon on the official website of nta so what finally is going to reflect what final changes are going to reflect on your neat 2025 paper we have to yet wait for that okay they are not yet there in the public we have to wait for that and we have to continuously check the latest update on nta's official website and whenever such official announcements will be made we will be the first one to let you know that okay so please be in touch please stay connected so is the neat exam mode changed for 2025 the committee has given a report to the ministry of education and recommending a hybrid exam form and multi stage testing for neat 2025 to improve the security again this is the recommendation ministry of education nta yet to respond on that or yet to conclude on that next will nta remove optional questions in neat 2 this is also one of the most searched question these days on internet by the neat candidates so yes students obviously there are some speculations i will say there is no official announcement i repeat myself there is no official announcement by nta with respect to neat exam that in neat 2025 there will be removal of the optional questions in the section b of every subject in the neat paper there is no official announcement but yes there are speculations because when this uh, optional section a section b and the optional question in section b for every subject in the examination paper for j were introduced at the same time it was introduced in the neat exam as well so we are speculating since it has been removed from the j there is a higher chance that these optional questions might also be removed from the neat paper also but yet speculations no official announcement made by nta so we need to wait so aspirants should please notice aspirants should regularly check the nta's official kindly check the official website for the information for any update or official notification once the notification regarding this will be out we will be the first one to share with you stay connected finally my dear students i would request you to join our telegram channel of shri chatanya for daily quizzes schedule session notes assignment and many more like the latest information latest updates from the nta as well the link to join the channel is in the description please check out that do not forget to subscribe like share and comment please let us know if there is any doubt or anything you would like us to help you with in the comment section so that's all from this session thank you for listening Bye bye take care and all the best for your neat 2025 exam